These are the five financial habits that I highly recommend you get implemented before you're 30 years old. Of course, it doesn't have to be by 30. It's just better if it is before 30. So sit back, get your pen and paper handy and get ready for my five financial habits. Number one, you want to freaking review and track your spending. So many people under the age of 30 think nothing's ever going to change. They just keep spending everything that they're making and they don't even understand where it goes. Track your spending. That is a financial habit that only the most astute people learn and they usually learn it too late. So if I were you, I would make sure that every single dollar you spend is tracked. It's written down. Just open a journal. Whenever you buy something, cheeseburger, write it down. You know, weight belt, write it down. Freaking date night, cocktails, write it down. Oil for your car, write it down. Dry cleaning, write it down. Just write down every single dime you spend every single day and keep the records. Just review and track your spending at the end of the month. You start to look through that and you start to realize and you're able to create reports that say 27% of your income was spent on food. 23% was spent on clothes. 19% was spent on cars. The problem is most people don't track their spending. The number two habit is invest monthly. See, a lot of people, they want to save up their money, save up their money until it's a lot of money, and then they want to invest it. The problem with that is once you start getting a little bit of money, it gets very tempting to blow. You know, those sneakers that you've been wanting become mighty attractive. The car upgrade that you've been thinking about becomes mighty attractive. So if you get rid of your money every single month, okay, it's much harder to blow because you don't have it. So get in the habit of investing monthly, whether it's a, an account you can't get money out of, whether it's an investment, cash flow investment, you wanna make sure that you're getting rid of your cash and that you're basically buying cash flow assets. The habit of investing monthly makes it to where you don't have the money to blow. Because let's face it, it gets a little bit tempting when you got a pocket full of money and know where to put it. Number three, buy insurance. Look at the various insurance policies that exist in the world that are available to you that will eventually mature and provide a cash value. That becomes pre-tax dollars. And if you seriously buy insurance, by the time you get 40, 50, 60 years old, that insurance has a cash value and it compounds and it blows your mind by the time you ever need it. And if anything should happen to you along the way, you've got insurance money to help you through the tragedy and or your family or loved ones. But get in the habit of buying insurance. People don't buy insurance until they get older and then it's much more expensive. You can get insurance now and get a premium that's so low because of your youth. So get in the habit of buying insurance. Hey, you want to spend an hour a week with me helping you become a business badass? Well, check out my group in the link below. Number four, operate as a business. Even if you work for someone else, you should open a side business, incorporate, create an LLC. The reason for that is very simple. As you receive money, you're able to write off certain things as a business that you're not able to write off as an individual. If I literally did the math for you from getting a paycheck, paying your taxes, spending what's left, versus a business where you get income, pay bills, get taxed on what's left, you would be amazed. I would definitely open a business, create an LLC just for tax advantages, and then get in the habit of learning and understanding taxes and pre-tax dollars, because there's a lot of shelters out there that if you learned, you wouldn't have to worry about it at a much later time. So get in the habit of figuring it out early, nine times out of 10, even though people are making a good income, they're doing it as a W-2 employee. Open up a business, leverage those taxes. Fifth, invest in yourself. That's the problem most people don't understand until it's too late. Listen, every single month, take a little bit of your income and invest in yourself. Nicer clothes, nicer smile, nicer car, nicer house. Spend it, spend it all. Live outside your budget and your means. Uh, I'm joking. Actually, step five is to not live outside your means. Folks, just because you can drive a nice car doesn't mean you should. Just because you can afford a nice apartment or a nice house or a nice condo doesn't mean you should. Just because you can go on a vacation because you've got the money doesn't mean you should. I believe one of the most important financial habits that you can get into is live below your means. Save a little bit of money to invest every month, to invest into insurance, to open a business. You definitely don't want to go out there and blow every dollar. I spent many, 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 many years spending every dime that I earned. If I had back all the money that I blew trying to impress people, the amount would be impressive. So take it from me when I tell you, just because you can afford it doesn't mean you should, okay? Leave a little bit of discretionary income to invest. 
Investing is very simple. Become financial literate and understand that money is worthless until you use it. If you have it in the bank, it's not earning much interest at all. Take that money, get rid of it so you, you're not liable to blow it. It's, it doesn't become very tempting to go on a trip or throw a party or buy that car you've been wanting. Okay, get in the habit of living below your means on a regular basis. Because isn't that really what we want? We want financial habits formed by the age of 30 that will literally create our freedom over the next 20 years. So if you've got the ability to do this, implement these five habits before you're 30 years old. Again, you can implement them at 60 years old. It's just better to implement them sooner. So when I say by 30 years old, by 21 years old is even better. By 18 years old is even better than that. But hey, if you're 40 listening to this, do it anyway, because guess what? It's never too late to start. So there's my five financial habits I would have you do by 30 years old. I hope you liked them, and I guarantee you they work. So if I were you, I would get busy and start implementing them. And if you wanna learn some more, check out the rest of these videos. Appreciate you coming.